Hi, this is Dave from Steel City Joints Flight Academy, and today we're going to be talking about the brand new DJI Mavic Air. Recently on a road trip to Florida, we had the opportunity to get our hands on one of the very first drones that came out there, and I believe this is one of the very first red options that are available. Very hard to get, so we want to thank our friends at Florida Drone Supply for hooking us up. I can tell you that we spent pretty much the, the majority of a day going through this aircraft and checking it out, testing it, flying it, making some video recordings, checking out the new features. One of the things that stood out with us as the first improvement with the Mavic Air is the video quality. The video quality actually really stood out. At 100 megabits per second, compared to, to 60 megabits per second with the Mavic Pro, we definitely noticed an improvement for sure. More clarity, more sharpness, better color saturation and contrast, all for a much better out of the box look so that you want to take the file right off the memory card and put it right online, the picture overall just looks much better. So DJI did a really good job improving the video quality for sure on this system. The next thing that we really like on the Mavic Air is the advanced pilot assistance system. So we picked a row of palm trees and just flew directly at the trunks of the trees and the Mavic Air went right around that without any problems. Then we did a second test, it went straight right over the bushes without any problems, without me having to adjust the flight. The Spark can't do that, the Mavic Pro can't do that. That's really a cool feature that we really liked with the Mavic Air. Now another feature we really liked about the Mavic Air was that it's actually faster in regular position hold compared to the Mavic Pro. We noticed that it was just noticeably faster when we were flying it around. They are the same speed when comparatively in the sport mode with the Mavic Air compared to the Mavic Pro. But we noticed when we were just in position hold, we could actually fly faster with the Mavic Air. For wind performance, again, I didn't see any noticeable difference between the Mavic Air and the Mavic Pro. And for that matter, comparing it to the Spark in the air, I didn't see any difference at all on either of them. And right now in Miami today, it's about five mile an hour winds. It's not too calm. And I've seen gusts maybe up to 10 miles an hour. And when I did see the wind gust, all three of the drones, as far as the Mavic Pro, the Mavic Air, and the Spark all dipped up and down in altitude a bit. And I would say I, I've seen them dip probably as much as five feet in altitude. And that's just the nature of what this is. Another thing that we really liked was the new addition to these quick shot modes. So if you're looking for a really cool kind of shot, unique type of shot to pull off, there is a feature called Asteroid. And that's what you're seeing on your screen right now. The next feature is called Boomerang. And Boomerang is a feature like just like this. So if you're looking for a quick, unique shot to be able to stand out, those are two of the shots that I really like. One of the features we don't like about the Mavic Air is the limited range it has. Now, we've seen some people claim that they've taken these as far as almost a mile. We noticed that it started dropping off at about 150 meters, which is right around 450 feet. Now, in our opinion, there's no reason to take such a small drone that far away from you because it's just gonna be a tiny dot. And, and when we talk about our, the way we fly and what's considered to be reasonable line of sight, that's just crazy going that far anyway. But when you're comparing the new Mavic Air to the Mavic Pro, the Mavic Pro does have much better range. So what I did find a little cumbersome was actually trying to pack it back up into its pouch and being able to get the booms and props. The one thing, this advantage that I don't like about this drone is it doesn't have foldable props. And there's, it's kind of awkward trying to fold it back together. Now the case that it comes with also, um, it doesn't have room for the remote control. So you still have to have 
you know, DJI claims that, you know, it's nice and portable and put it in this little pouch, which is fine, but if you're using a remote control, you still have to have a second pouch for it unless you get a regular, better case for it. So, would I recommend the Mavic Air? I would say absolutely. This is a great first drone. And I also think that the Spark and the Mavic Pro are great first drones as well. Great to get your feet wet to see if you really like flying or not and you know get some really cool shots that you can't get any other way. I don't think these are commercial grade drones. I don't think the stability is really good enough for them. These are great first drones to be able to go ahead and do some work, get your feet wet with them, no problems. I would absolutely recommend any of the three. Now, which one would I recommend? Well, that's probably depending upon your price range. So with the Mavic Pro starting at 1100 and the Mavic Air is about 800 and the Spark is $500, that's, you know, you, you know, everybody has their own unique budget restraints. So I would recommend any of these three drones. I think they're great flyers. Uh, with that said, you can buy any three of these drones at directly at Florida Drone Supply. If you sign up as a Steel City Flight Academy member, you can get some discounts on uh, saving some money when you want to do a purchase as well. And like always, if you have any questions about my review, some questions, comments, please feel free to reach out to me. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you again. If you like this video and like to see more free videos in the future, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're at it, if you're interested in free lessons on how to fly drones, discounts on drone equipment, discounts on insurance or access to our exclusive drone video library, check out our website, steelcityflightacademy.com.